The first rail freight service is in almost a year due to start this week between Picton and Christchurch. The track there, of course, has been closed since the line suffered extensive damage in last November's earthquake, which diverted thousands of heavy trucks and many more cars than usual down a makeshift central highway through Marlborough and Tasman. Businesses along the route quickly adapted, but nine months on, it's clear the path since then has been one of mixed fortunes. Our reporter Tracy Neal went back for a look. Hello, is Mr Pink here? Yep, get me under the front door, I'll let you. Mike Pink and his wife Hazel bought the Junction Hotel at Spring Creek on the main road to Picton in October last year. A month later, they were counting their blessings that it was still standing after the quake. Nowadays, a carousel of freight trucks negotiate a new roundabout outside the hotel's front room. Mr Pink says the changes to traffic flow has made it harder for people to stop at his business and they've struggled to stay afloat. Nearly put us out of business with the um, roundabout. We was told in uh, November that it would be minimum disruption and that would be finished in March. So I said, well, we can probably cope with that. It is now September and it's still not finished and we're virtually out of business. The quake closed State Highway 1 through Kaikoura and diverted more than 1,000 cars and trucks daily on the alternate highway. Kiwi Rail expects about 2,000 fewer trucks a month on the inland road through the Wairo Valley, with the start of a limited rail freight service between Picton and Christchurch on Friday. Local farmer Rex Gray says that's good news, but the local tavern owner isn't so sure. David Jackson doesn't think it will make much difference. The truck drivers I've spoken to all seem to think they'll be carrying on doing containers just the same. But as one guy was telling me that the rail, uh, the service isn't going to be particularly good. In fact, it's going to be worse. And there's only one train a day anyway, so... Further down the road, mobile food business operator Caridad Apas has had a rough time. Business was booming from her roadside operation where she made up to 150 cups of coffee a day and served homemade venison pies. There you go. The council had to shut down the business after a complaint there was no formal access off the highway. The transport agency helped fund the works needed and the consent was granted. Ms Apas reopened a few weeks ago to a warm welcome. Lots of hugs and kisses. Good to see you again. I hope you're not going to go away. So of course I'm not going away. I stay here. But she's not sure what effect less traffic will have. Yeah, there should be lonely table just for one. <laughs> There, there's a lot of regulars supporting me. And it's, oh, good to see you, Karen. Good coffee again and good food, and good service with a big smile. So, yes, back on truck again. In St Arnold, where the traffic has been a boon for local businesses, Alpine store owner Elaine Richards is now bracing herself for staff layoffs with the expected slowdown. The business had been helping to feed road repair crews, but she says a change by subcontractors to catering suppliers changed all that. So that's been a bit of a, a kick in the bum for us, you know, because we would have them in here and, and buying stuff and catering for where they were staying, and so that's all stopped. Kiwi Rail says the return of freight services will be marked with celebrations in Christchurch and Kaikoura as the first trains travel down the line. For Checkpoint, Tracy Neal.